today I'm going to teach you how to create an iPad background in Adobe Photoshop. Before we get started, the first thing you need to do is find out what version of iPad you will be loading the background on. Some iPads have the Retina display and others do not. This will determine what template we choose for our background. The first step in creating a background image is opening your background template in Photoshop. Since I'm going to be loading this background on an iPad Air, I'm going to choose the Retina display template. Note both of these templates are available on the Meeting Tomorrow website. Next, drag the image you want to put on the iPad on top of the template. Photoshop should center the image automatically. At this point, you can resize or adjust where you would like your image. You'll want to make sure your image stays out of the blue and gray bars on the template. These areas are not always displayed on the iPad when the orientation is changed. I'm going to add a white background to this, so I need to create a new layer. I'm going to make sure that my background layer is below my logo and then using the gradient tool, fill the layer with my color of choice. If you're happy with the look of the image, save it to your computer. The last step is to load it onto your iPad and set it as the background image. And that's how you create a custom iPad background. 